Hi, Lomis. This is Teacher K from the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program, where we believe that learning can be fun, meaningful, and exciting. We provide our kids with learning experiences about the world through creative, imaginative, and meaningful activities. Welcome to our classroom. Now, today's lesson is all about protecting the environment. Now, did you know that essential items like food and water are made out of natural resources? And these resources are very limited. Kaya naman, we need to do our part to make sure that we don't waste our natural resources and find ways to take care of the environment. And to make this activity fun for your kids, we will teach them by making animal pen holders using our Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs. Now for today's live session, I hope you are able to prepare the materials that we will need for today's activity. We will need our Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs, scratch paper or recycled paper, colored paper, old brown paper bag, markers, double-sided tape, scissors, and glue. But before we start the activity, let's enjoy a drink of Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink. And then after finishing the product, it is important to remind your child that you have to throw your trash out properly. It's important to segregate their waste. Biodegradable ang mga nabubulok and non-biodegradable ang mga hindi nabubulok. By separating these type of waste, we can recycle it or compost it so that it can properly go back to the environment. Pero, ano nga ba ang biodegradable and non-biodegradable? Biodegradable waste are waste that will, that will decompose again. So it means, if nilagay ko sila sa ground and I cover it with soil, it will eventually break down into smaller particles and will join the soil again. Katulad na lamang ng ating mga fruits and vegetable peels, um, eggshells, and even paper. I will also talk about the non-biodegradable, ang mga hindi nabubulok. Ito naman ay ang mga gamit na pag nilagay ko sa ground and I cover it with soil, hindi ito magkichange sa physical appearance niya. Katulad na lamang ng glass, ng can, at ng mga plastic bottles. So remember mommies, next time na you and your kid throw something away, make sure that you teach your kids how to segregate their trash. Para naman pag may mga garbage collector na darating, matatapon nyo nila ito ng maayos. Now, aside from properly segregating our waste, Meron pa tayong ibang magagawa to help save the environment. Ito naman ang practicing the three R's of waste management. Ito ang reduce, reuse, at recycle. So mommies, can you ask your kids what they think reduce is? So to do that, let's ask ourselves, bago tayo bumili, hmm, kailangan ko ba talaga bilhin to? Baka naman pwede natin to hiramin kay kuya at kay ate. To reduce kasi is to minimize or lessen the waste that we generate. Ang susunod naman na letter R ay ang reuse. Now, if we cannot reduce, the next step is to reuse the products that we have. So that means instead of throwing it away, let's just use it one more time or more than once. For example, mommies, instead of throwing away your echo bags, let's use it again when we do our grocery shopping. I hope you can do that as well, mommies. And finally, the last letter R is recycle. To recycle is to make new things out of waste materials. And did you know that Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs can be recycled into new sheets of paper? Galang diba? And another way to recycle them is to make them into a new item. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. We will be making it into animal pen holders. Now, perfect ang mga pen holders na ito ngayon dahil we have to organize the things of our kids at home. So, ready na mommies? Let's start! So for our first design, let's try to do our national bird. Can you guess what it is? So while you're typing your answers below, those who are tuning in, thank you for joining us. We are recycling our Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs into Animal Pen Holder. Now, I hope you were able to answer Philippine Eagle. So to do that, we will need an empty wash dried Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs. And then we are going to cover it with scratch paper. So for that, let me get my scratch paper. And then using double-sided tape, we will be covering our Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs. And then, let's just keep away my trash over here. And then we will just stick it and then wrap it like a gift. 
and then once you're done with that just cut the excess part fold the excess parts and then you will have something like this so this will be the pen holder that we're going to use now to make it look like a philippine eagle we will draw a half circle over here and then we will be drawing a line around it so let's first draw the half circle And then using the end points, we will connect it by drawing a line around our Bear Brand Fortified back. So let's just draw a line around it. Try to connect it. All right. Now, this will be our guide when we cut it. So we are going to cut it so that we will have the shape of the head and then for our animal pen holder. Since we're using scissors, mommy, please make sure to guide your kids. Now, I'm going to cut over here first. So please, mommies, be careful when cutting. Guide your child. If they're still shaky when it comes to cutting, just guide them. And then eventually, they'll be more confident when cutting the paw. Now, let's cut the half circle, which will represent the head of our Philippine eagle. And there you go. Okay. And now I have the half circle as the head of our of my philippine eagle and oh we have a question what grade level would this be perfect for hmm, personally i think this would be perfect for grade two kids and above just because they're more confident in cutting already hindi na masyado shaky when they cut and then you could easily tell them the instructions of cutting but when it comes to teaching about the environment and reducing reusing and recycling you could start early kahit preschool age pa lang. they have an idea already on how to save the environment since most of our kids are animal lovers and they love flowers and plants, you could already start teaching them about the importance of saving the environment. So thank you for that good question. Now let's go back to our activity. So now I have the base for my for my Philippine eagle. Kailangan natin siya gawan naman ng feathers over here. So that will serve as the crown of my Philippine eagle. And to use the Oh, sorry, to do that, I will use my recycled colored papers. I have brown here and then I have yellow here. So let's make it colorful. Let's make around 10 feathers for the Philippine Eagle. And to do that, we just have to draw an oblong, very thin lang. And then let's make it 5 brown and then 5 yellows. And to make it faster, mommies, you know what? Just fold the paper. And then... Once you fold the paper, marami ka ng oblong na magagawa in just one go. Or it's easier and for your kids to cut. But if you want your child to practice cutting, pwede rin yun naman po mag-growing ng mas madami. And then they could cut it individually. So let me see. Did you know, mommies, that the Philippine eagle is almost endangered? Now, when you say endangered, it means konti na lang sila. It's because nawawala na sila ng mga habitat na tinitirahan because we keep getting from their natural resources. So nawawala sila ng mga forests and trees to live. So that's why we have to teach our kids how to reduce, reuse, and recycle and segregate para hindi rin napupunta ang mga waste natin sa tinitirahan nila. So now I have five oblongs and then let's do the same thing with the yellow. But for that, I actually prepared already yellow ones. So I have it here. And now, we are going to stick it at the back of our Philippine Eagle's head. So, dito natin lalagay yung mga feathers. And I will be using my double-sided tape for that just to make sure na didikit talaga sila. So, we'll put it here at the back. And then... Oops. Hold on. Alright. Okay, there. I got it. Now... We are going to stick the oblongs around the Philippine eagle's head. And let's try to do some patterns. Now, if you watch Teacher Eliza's live session about patterns, you will be able to get the answer for this one. I will put here brown, and then yellow, and then brown again. The next color would be yellow. That's correct. We are doing patterns to make it more creative. So I have here four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Oh no, I hope it fits. <laughs> and ten. I'll put it on the other side just so it will fit better. There you go. So now I have the crown of my Philippine eagle. So now we're still missing some parts, no? How about the beak? So for the beak, let me get my, let me just clean up my work table. Let me get this one. Para hindi tayo nag waste remember? We are reusing a lot of our things. For the beak, let's make a triangle shape. So this will represent the beak of our Philippine eagle. Then again, let's cut it and please be careful when cutting. Try to guide your kids when they cut and so that they won't hurt themselves. And there we go. So this will be the beak of my Philippine eagle. And then I'm just going to stick it around here. So for that, let me use my glue. Okay. And then make it an upside down triangle. Okay, so it will look something like this. Now we just have to draw the eyes and then make it even more creative by drawing waves over here which will represent the feathers of the Philippine eagle. So let's use black for my eyes first. So mommies, I hope your kids were able to see a Philippine eagle already. But if not, try to look for it in the internet so that they know how majestic the Philippine eagle looks like. So let me get this one to represent the feathers in front. So just draw waves. Okay. Now this is how my Philippine eagle will look like. Pero kulang pe. Hmm. Let's add kaya wings. So for the wings, let me use brown paper again. So let me get my brown paper and then let's just draw wings for our Philippine eagle. To do that, Fold nyo lang po yung paper. Remember this trick para mas mabilis tayo mag-cut. So that, just draw a line. And then maybe sharp edges to represent the feathers of the wings. And then close it. And then let's cut it. So again, be careful mommy when we cut. And then when using your materials, you know what? Try to use the ones at home. Let's avoid buying any more products from the bookstore or from anywhere else. Our point talaga for this activity is for your kids to learn how to reduce, reuse, and recycle. That's why I'm using some of the paper that I've used from other activities that I used to do before. So I saved it kasi nga baka naman may use pa siya next time. And it's perfect because I can use it now for my activity. So for now, I now have the wings of my eagle and I will just stick it at the back. So for this, you can use glue already. There you go. And this is my Philippine Eagle. Ang cute, di ba? And it's made up of recycled materials. Oops, I'll fix the wings first. There you go. Kaya, mommies, let's remind our kids that we need to help save the environment so we can save these eagles as well. So I hope you like my Philippine Eagle design. So let me just put it over here because we have one more animal to do. Now, let me just put one pen just to show you that it's a pen holder. Tara shears are very cute animals with big eyes and small bodies. But just like the eagle, endangered na rin sila because of pollution. So mommy, let's try to do our part to save these animals, ha? So for that, we will be following the same thing that we did with the Philippine eagle. So again, we will be using our Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs. Dry it, wash it, make sure that's dry, and then we will be wrapping it. Now this time, because it's color brown, I used a brown paper bag that I have at home. So it's something like this. So this is from my old purchase. Then instead of throwing it away, I decided to use it as a way to wrap my for my tarsh here. So after that, you wrap it around and then the same thing, half circle, and then we cut it. Alright. Like what I've said, we will use the same base, the same style for our tarsh here. Now, remember, I said that the tarsh here, they have very distinct eyes kasi malaki. So what we can do with that is, let me get a scratch paper, an old paper. And then, we will draw two circles to represent the eyes of our tarsh here. So you could still do 
the folding part. Pero since two lang naman to, let me just draw it individually. Para naman yung kids natin, ma-practice rin nila yung cutting skills nila. So let me just move it around so I have space for cutting. Okay. Right. And then just cut the circle. So for this, I now have my two circles. I will now stick these over here around the top part of the head of our tarsier. So let me use glue for this one and just stick it. Now again, like look what I answered a while ago for our question, try to use any materials at home. If you want to be more creative, maybe you can use different colors. Baka naman yung kids would rather have a colorful animal. Tarsier, pero colorful. Why not naman? So we could do that. And then, okay. I now have the two circles on my tarsier. But let's draw the black part of the eyes. They're very distinct because of their big eyes. So let me draw a big black circle here. And then two dots under for the nostrils. And then the cute smile. They're very, very happy. Ang tarsier natin kasi we are not wasting anything. We are recycling everything. But I think my tarsier is not complete yet, no? What do you think? I think I want to add ears and a long tail. Tarsiers are also known for their long tails. So for that, let me use the same thing, the brown paper bag. But I wrapped it with the discarded part of this tetra pack. So to make the ears, let's make two half circles. Or you can ask your child to make two letter C's as well. So it has the same shape naman. And then for the tail, just draw a long squiggly line and then connect it with each other. So something like this. Then let's just cut it. Okay, again, be careful when cutting, especially that we are cutting small parts. So to all the viewers that we just tuned in right now, we are making animal pen holders using our Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs. So we are recycling today. So I now have my ears and to stick my ears, let me use double-sided tape again. So again, I use double-sided tape just because I know it will be sturdier. Hindi siya ganun kadali matanggal. Especially when you glue the top, the inside. Because our Tetra Pack has a special coil inside para hindi rin tumatagos yung basa ng ating mga drinks. So let me just put the ears. Oops. Hold on. Hmm. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, the tape doesn't want to go away. Wait first, everyone. Alright, there we go. Mm -hmm. Ha! I got it! Oh no, not yet. <clears throat> but okay, let's try it one more time. That one didn't work, but I will get one more. Don't you worry, I can do this. And if your kids are struggling just like me, you're, that's why you're there to help them, right, Terence? Oh, there you go. I got it this time. And there you go. All right, so now I'm going to stick the ears finally. So the ears of my torch here is now here. One side here, and then one side over here. So you can ask your kids to make it even bigger. So right now, I think I did mine a bit small, but next time I could make it even bigger, para mas distinct pa siya. And then for the tail, I'll use na lang ulit my very handy double-sided tape to make it sturdy once again. Stick it at the back, and then remove the other paper, and then stick the tail of my tarsier. There you go. This is my tarsier. Oh, is it very cute? It's cute, right? And it's very happy now we are saving by reusing some of the materials that we have. And I'll put it right over here. Carabaos are strong and very helpful. They help our farmers to pulling their farming tools for, to make rice for us. So for that, we will be following the same thing that we did for our Philippine Eagle and our Tarshir. So drink your Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Packs. Clean it. 
sanitize it, dry it really well, and then you're going to wrap it. And this time, since we are doing carabaos, binalot ko siya using gray paper. So I'm trying to follow the the color of the carabao. So again, we cut it, show half of the head, and then lower parts po ito para mas merong space for our animal head. So for this, we are missing something right here. Ano kaya yun? That's the horns of our carabaos. The horns are very strong and big as well. And to make the horn, I have a discarded part of this one and I color covered it also with gray paper. So for that, let me just draw a shape of a letter J to make the horns. And then one more over here. But you don't have to use the same things that I've been using naman in covering the materials. Again, whatever you have at home, try to use it. If you have black paper, why not? Pero kung wala talagang paper and you only have white paper, then we could ask your kids to color it as well. So remember, mommies, it is reducing, reusing, recycling. Let's try to find what we have at home so that we don't waste anything. Okay, so I have one horn na. So now, I will try to stick my horns over here. But let's make our horns even better. Let's try to put some waves or some lines to make it more distinct. Para lang alam natin na it's part of the horns and not just part of the carabao's body. So let me just draw some lines. Just lines. It doesn't have to be very, very straight naman po. Okay. Now, let me stick it here at the back, just like what we did with the Tarsh here and the Philippine Eagle. We will just stick it over here. And then, again, let me use my double-sided tape. I hope my double-sided tape will cooperate with me right now. A while ago, it brought a challenge to me that I was able to conquer. Sobrang ganda ng feeling talaga pag meron tayo na conquer ng mga challenges, no? Oh, we have a question. How does recycling help save endangered animals? Okay, a while ago, I mentioned to you that our resources, our natural resources are very limited. Now, these natural resources, usually it came from the habitat of these animals. So every time we try to get those resources for us, nawawalan naman ng tirahan at pagkain ng ating mga animals. That's why we are encouraging you and your kids to reduce, reuse, and recycle para we don't have to keep getting from them. All right. So I hope I was able to answer that question. That was a very good question. Thank you for that. So now I'm just going to stick my horns here. And there you go. Let's make Carabao's horns. All right. Nakulang na lang siguro yung ating face of the Carabao. And for that, I want to make a snout for my Carabao. So let me just get again the brown paper that I used a while ago. Let's try not to waste and use the things that we have already used. Again, we are reusing and we are trying to reduce the things that we will use. So for the snout of our carabao, let's make the shape of an oval. So just draw an oval shape. So mommies, if your kids have other ideas for colors, let them try it. Baka naman may mga ideas sila na mas, mas cute pa yung magiging material. And there we go. I have my oval shape. And now I will just stick it on my carabao. Right over here. So again, double-sided tape because I like it to be sturdy. And wish me luck that it will stick this time. That no more challenges will be presented to me. And here we go. I got it in one go. So with that, let me just stick it here. And now... Kulang na lang siguro yung eyes, yung nose, at yung mouth ng ating carabao. So, work together with your kids. Baka naman they have different ideas for the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. For me, I like it to have small eyes. I find small eyes cute kasi for animals. And then the nostrils. And then a big smiling face because it's very happy that we are not wasting any of our materials. So, here is my carabao. Isn't that nice? So, 
Ang ganda ng mga pen folders natin, di ba? We have our Caraval. Let's put one pen over here. We have our Tarshir. The very, very cute Tarshir. The smallest monkey in the world. Let me put one here. And we have our Philippine Eagle. The majestic Philippine Eagle. Now, how about you and your kids? Are there other animal designs that you want to try for your pen holders? Baka naman they have more ideas that they want to try as well. So this is the chance for us to show our kids that taking care of the environment means taking care of these animals as well. Alagaan natin ng ating kalikasan para sa kinabukasan at para rin sa ating mga animals. Through recycling, trash is reduced, reduced sorry, which helps the environment. It also unleashes our creative side because we were able to transform our Bear Brand Fortified Ready to Drink Tetra Packs into animal pet folders. And that's all we have for this live class. I hope you had fun as much as I did. And for more ideas, go to the Ready Academy playlist at the Nestle Philippines YouTube channel where you'll see fun and meaningful activities updated every week. Also, learn how Galileo can help your child in math, English, and Singapore math through its online program called Go Learning. Just head on over to our website at GalileoEnrichment.com for more information. And this has been Teacher K of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program. I hope you had fun. I really had fun teaching you guys about this pen holder. I hope you try it. Try to make new designs, not just animals. Maybe you could think of other ways to use our Tetra Pack. And I'll see you in the next Ready E Academy. Nestle. Good food, good life.